Welcome back to MMA Odds Breaker, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Frank Trigg, still sitting in Las Vegas, Nevada, and that is Jared Downing sitting in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, getting ready for his fight coming up on RFA 8 against Lance Palmer. Jared, how you doing, bud? I'm doing pretty good. Glad I could finally get you on. I've been trying to, trying to get a hold of you for an interview for a while now, and I'm glad I uh, finally got a chance to get a hold of you. Uh, who are you training with right now up there in Cedar Rapids? I train with Team Hard Dryer, my original gym, and my... Jim. All right, do me a favor. Break down Lance Palmer for me. I know you've watched uh, watched film on him. He's six and zero. You're nine and one. Uh, obviously, two very tough guys going in to fight up there at RFA eight. Uh, what do you see Lance Palmer doing when you watch tape? Um, I haven't watched all that uh, much on him, man. What I did watch was a while ago. Uh, it seems like he has a little bit of. Stand up, but but not that much at all. And I expect him, you know, to do his background when when he has to, and that's wrestling. And so I'm expecting him to try to take me down. Now, have you been training with anybody to help counter your, counter the wrestling and, and keep it on the feet as much as you can? I feel pretty uh, comfortable with my uh, takedown defense. Uh, uh, that's my strongest point, I think, really. And that's just something that I've always been ready for. Um, I wrestle around with uh, Steve Carl and a lot of bigger wrestlers, so I feel pretty comfortable on my uh, takedown defense. Now, he's got three submissions and three decisions, so obviously he doesn't have very good stand-up. Well, you've gone seven decisions, one KO and one submission in your, in your nine wins. Both of you guys like going the distance. Um, do you see this fight going all the way to the end, or do you see you knocking, you're knocking him out early? I see me uh, knocking him out one way or another. Um, he's um, way uh, smaller than a lot of guys that I fought. I fought a lot of larger opponents, and I think uh, that's the reason that my past couple of fights have went the distance. And I don't uh, see him lasting that long with me. Yeah, you fought uh, Eric Monette in RFA 1. Alessio Ferreira in RFA two, and Jordan Linaldi in, in RFA five, and all those all three went through decision. But you pretty much just, you pretty much beat each guy up pretty good. It wasn't like they were close decisions. You won those relatively easily. It, yeah. It's so I'm, I'm glad to hear you say it's because these guys are so much bigger than than what you've dealt with than what you normally used to dealing with. Because I, I think your style is a finishing style. You just haven't gotten a way to finish it. Exactly. Uh, I think that uh, wrestler that um. I am just a really bad matchup for a wrestler, and I think that this is going to be my highlight fight. Oh, good. Okay, so you really do think this is going to be a highlight fight? Because when I interviewed Lance, I kind of asked him about it, and he thought it was going to be a highlight fight too, which means both of you guys want to bring the game, bring your each individual game to to this fight. Is RFA, oh, yeah, sure. is RFA to, your, to your knowledge, giving away like fight of the night bonuses or, or uh, submission of the night or knockout of the night bonuses to the fighters? Um, last I heard that they were looking for sponsors to do that. I'm not uh, sure if they found them or not, but I'm hoping that they do because that's way more instead of, you know, some cash in hand really helps a fighter fight. Yeah, absolutely, especially getting that extra, that extra payday at the end of the fight. Yep. Uh, for for a, lot of the, a lot of my listeners at home, they, they've they never seen you fight before. They don't know much about you. So if you had to explain to them very quickly, like what your style is, like of fighting. How would you explain that your style is, Jared? I am a mixed martial artist. I go um, um, with hands, kicks, or ground, and I always push. The pace always never let up. You've always had really good cardio during your fights. Is, is there a specific strength and conditioning coach that you use to keep your cardio that good, or is it just something that, that kind of comes naturally? I do uh, for sure. That is the anvil. He has uh, changed my game completely, and my strength and cardio is all from a kid, uh, McKellen, at the end of this. Wow, Bill. Thanks, Jared. I really appreciate you coming on here with us today at MMA Oddsbreaker. Good luck against Lance Palmer and RFA 8 on, January, or excuse me, on June 21st, and uh, we'll speak with you soon. All right, thank you.